Hello, fellow creatives. I will keep this short and sweet. Are you having problems coming up with prompts or have no idea what prompts to use? Have no fear. There is a website that helps you with prompts. It's very cool and they have images to go along with how the results may look like. Give them a visit. I think you'll like it very much. I still use it to get some ideas for lighting and artistic styles, etc. Check them out. If you're interested in lighting a certain image, this website prompt builder has a slew of lighting information to use like bioluminescence, lasers, the list goes on. Remember, these are just tools. It's up to your imagination to build whatever you want. The possibilities are literally endless. I mentioned this website in my first video. Check it out. I left the link on the top right. Give it a go if you haven't seen the first episode that is. I also left the link to Prompt Builder in the bottom below. Check that out. I'm also planning on making a video on how to film with your smartphone or how to write a screenplay. If you're interested in seeing a video on how to film with your smartphone in a professional way, just let me know in the comments below. Give me some likes and I will start working on that. If you're interested in how to write a screenplay or the format, just let me know too. I'm here to help out any budding filmmaker, whatever your age is. I went to school for this. Back to Mid Journey Prompt Builder. Here is something I will create for your review. Then when I'm done, head on over to Prompt Builder and have fun. I think you'll find the website very informative. Sooner or later, you're going to understand what prompts will help you with any of your images. Now, right here, what I'm doing is typing what my first prompt will be, which is uh, a barbarian at the gates of hell. Mid Journey likes using shorter terms. So it's better to be more brief than more elaborate with your words. The shorter, the better. I'm organizing prompts that will be added to your prompt builder, like these words right here. Like uh, you want to make it a drawing or a pencil, ink, pastels, chalk, you know, you can, you, you can click all of them if you want. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's going to get all messy. So build your prompts with the most important in the beginning. So if you want a barbarian and you want that to be prominent, make sure that that word is in the beginning. And you know, the mini skill stuff that are least important, you could add those towards the end. Basically what I'm doing is I'm choosing all the things that I think would be cool. Like I said, towards the end, you're gonna see it's a big lineup of prompts. It's almost like a paragraph. If you want to be adventurous, uh, try choosing all the prompts on each category and see what happens, See what, see what you get. So right here is the artistic painting that you want to use. There's a various artists right there. You can add your own if you want. You can do it in the style of your favorite comic book artist, you know, like Jack Kirby, Todd McFarlane. Uh, you could use watercolors. You could use oil painting and it starts creating it that way. Uh, talking about oil painting, you could use Bob Ross type of painting and then you'll get that type of style. So that's re that's really cool. Right here, I'm using parameters. You can, you can use a test mode. You can use test P, the new modes that came out. And what's so cool about Prompt Builder is that they keep updating it too when Mid Journey upgrading their their new modes. So there it is. You know, that's what Creative Mode. It tells you what Creative Mode does, what Test P mode does, what the image weight does, and all that. And then right here, if you want to size your image, what size do you want it? I just kept it at default. And right below it says, wow, nice prompt. And then you just copy it. And you could also copy it from the top. But you see all the prompts that we built? Those are all the prompts that we built. Then you just, you know, type it in your in your mid-journey prompt and see what happens and hope for the best. And this is the result I got with the test P. And there you go. As you can see, there's a lot of words in there. It's messy, and I don't think you want to use that. When you have messy prompts, you get a messy image. Okay, right here I'm going to redo it, but I'm going to put test instead of test P and see what happens when I build it. If you put test P, it's going to be more realistic because P stands for photo reel. So here's the result. Now let's try it with minimal words. I'm going to try it right here. I'm going to just leave what what I left in the prompts, the barbarian, and just remove all that clutter and see what we get. And I'm going to use test P and test so we can see different results from it. And here's the result. It's a lot more cleaner, a lot more realistic, and it actually shows you what the barbarian is at the gates of hell fighting a titan. And let's see what happens with the test, the more general 
this is what I get. And it's a lot more realistic. It actually shows more information of what my prompt was telling. Well, that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, you know, give me a like. Tell your friends and share away. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome ideas to help you get inspired with any of your projects. This is Art, signing off. And don't forget, muse it or lose it. <laughs>